Welcome to the VersaCharge AC series commissioning video. This video is used to guide you through commissioning a VersaCharge AC Generation 3 charger. First, download and install the VersaCharge configurator on a Windows 10 operating system. The installation package is a zip file and can be found at usa.siemens.com slash VersaCharge. Just scroll to the bottom of the page under the Download tab. Once download is complete, extract the zipped files into a folder of your choice. Then double-click Setup. You should see the installation splash screen appear. Click Next. Read the End User License Agreement and then select the checkbox to accept the terms. Click Next. If needed, you can change the default installation location. Click Next to continue then click Install to begin installation. When finished, click here to complete the installation and exit the wizard. To review the installation log, click on the log file in the installation wizard. Then click Siemens Industry, VersaCharge Configurator in the Start menu, or double-click the icon on your desktop to launch the application. Now it's time to set up the charger. You'll need to create an account in VersaCloud. VersaCharge chargers can be commissioned over a network. Connection options include Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or cellular. Choose the option you'd like to use. There are three steps you must follow to commission the charger. After setting up an account, begin configuring the charger by opening the VersaCharge configurator. A welcome screen appears. Click the model numbers to review the supported models. Then click Get Started. There are two options you can select from on the Before You Begin page. If you select I have an internet connection, the tool verifies the configuration in VersaCloud after configuration is completed. If you select I will configure offline, after commissioning is complete, the configuration must be verified in VersaCloud by the user. On the Charger Registration Details screen, enter the registered email ID. Reminder, the email ID must be registered in VersaCloud before configuring the charger. This is the same account you set up after you downloaded the configurator tool. Select the time zone of the charger from the drop-down list, and then select the VersaCloud geolocation the charger belongs to. You can choose between North America and rest of the world. Click Next to continue the configuration and connect to the charger. Before connecting the charger, make sure the Wi-Fi connection between the charger and the commissioning device is enabled and active at the commissioning device. Check that the Wi-Fi LED is blinking white on the charger. This indicates the charger is in access point mode, and the Wi-Fi endpoint of the charger is available for connection. The connection choice always starts with VS dash and then the serial number. The serial number found on the charger label is a connection choice. To connect the charger, connect to the Wi-Fi endpoint that will be used for configuration and commissioning. Click Refresh if the endpoint is not visible. A message appears to let you know the charger is connected along with the serial and catalog number of the charger. If by chance you connected to the wrong charger, click here. Click Continue to proceed. Then click Connect to the Internet to select the type of connection to begin commissioning the charger. If you're using Ethernet mode, ensure the Ethernet cable is connected. Select that option, then enter the DNS server address. If you are sharing the Internet connection of this charger with other chargers, make sure you enable Share Internet with other chargers and then provide the authentication information. If you're using cellular, select that option to check for devices that support LTE and 4G cellular configuration. On the Cellular Mode Configuration screen, enter the modem dial string, APN, and authentication information. If commissioning using Wi-Fi, select Wi-Fi in the Choose the Mode of the Internet Connection screen. Click Refresh to refresh the list of Wi-Fi networks and then choose the Wi-Fi network connection you want to use and enter the password. Click Send to Charger. If you still don't see your Wi-Fi network, click Manual Configuration 
and enter the SSID and hotspot password to manually configure and commission the Wi-Fi configuration. Click Send to Charger, and the charger verifies the commissioning and registration. In the notification screen, a timer shows the time you have left to get the registration notification from VersaCloud. Here, you can also see information about the communication status, also shown by the LED in the charger HMI. If you see the Wi-Fi LED blinking with alternate colors, check to be sure the connection information you provided is correct and make any necessary updates. Once the configuration is complete, this screen appears. Next, click Configure Another Charger if needed and follow the same steps on the screen. Your charger is now set up and ready to use.